should know it's a good day on the Course Bank Show when the vibrators stop by the studio. So we've got Nigel, we've got Pete, we've got Eddie here from the from Punk Royalty, Thank you, the sir. vibrators. And, and I got to tell you guys, I've been a big fan for a long time. I have. And I have. I like your new stuff. I like the old stuff. Good I like. Answer. I like. Yeah, I, I like it all. And we've got a few of the CDs right there. Mm -hmm. including on the guest list. And then I notice on your website something new coming out called Past, Present, and Into the Future. Indeed it is, yeah. We did it in uh, the UK. It's um, an album that we did for sort of the 40th anniversary of the band. So we had the idea of getting the old guys back. So we've uh, got Pat Collier producing, Knox is on it, John Ellis. Gary Tibbs from the V2 era, so that they've done some songs, yeah. and all the new guys as well. So we've uh, got songs by Pete and everything, and I'm the only one who plays on every track. <laughs> <laughs> and it came out very, very good. No, it's yeah. a very good album. It's out on Cleopatra. It should be on CD and vinyl, and it should be out now. But um, oh, we're waiting for them to get copies so that we can get them. But uh, yeah, has there ever been a Vibrators release without you? Eddie. Uh, Never has. Has No, I don't think there's anything that I haven't played on ever, no. Yeah, yeah. And, and I see you going wild in concert every time. Every time I see you live or every time I see a video, it's, it's sort of like the Cookie Monster very, back there. It's very, it's very no, it's like it's like Cookie crazy. Monster. He doesn't play the <laughs> drums, you <laughs> wombat. Oh. It's Animal that plays animal, the drums, you know, Muppet. See, that's why, I, that's why I have you guys here. Yeah. I don't know my uh, my my, uh, my children's characters. I don't know them. So, so. I love it. Pete, you love singing all these songs. I I do enjoy yeah. singing all the songs. I don't sing all the songs because Eddie sings Eddie, quite a few. Eddie, and, yeah. and Nigel sings a couple as well. But yeah, singing, singing is good fun. Uh, it's a nice outlet. When you're pissed off, you do a kick and you know the pissed off. <laughs> it's really good for that. So, yeah. I, I feel like, and uh, Nigel, I mean, you know, correct me here, man. I mean, I feel like you guys are, you're, you're just road warriors. I wouldn't correct you. Fair are. enough. You, and, 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 you know, here you are in Texas again. Thank you for coming back to Dallas and playing at Three Links, you know. And Texas is the reason. I love Texas. Always have Texas. Yeah, good. Is it because of the beer and the weather and the women? No, I don't drink anymore. I've always just liked the attitude of Texas. Uh, people always say if you're from Britain, you know, what do you like in America, LA or New York? And I say, well, actually, I really like Texas. It's in the middle and uh, yeah. it's just a good place. Yeah, and then and then if you're stuck here, you can get a direct flight from Dallas back home. Of course. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and you know, hey, so... Man, it's, we're, good. It, it's just great to have you guys. I, I just think of the vibrators as uh, I, I don't know the best best songwriters out of Britain ever. I do. That's a bit strong. Isn't that's cool. a bit strong. <laughs> we got some good songwriters in Britain. It, we take the it. Oh, and and the yeah, no. All right. Yeah, all right. I don't mind. Oh. Eddie, if you, if you we got some good songs. Second best. All right. Will you take that? Yeah, no. I'll take best. But I, I didn't I, write I, the song. I'm, so I'm, I'm happy with the best. Yeah, I'm happy with that because Knox will be pleased if we tell him that. No, Knox is a very, very good songwriter. So, uh, well, he doesn't yeah. write all the songs anymore. But he is a good songwriter. Writer as well. and, uh, yeah, we've always spread the songwriting between various members of the band, but Knox has done the majority of the stuff, and he is I, a good songwriter. He is. Do you ever get the urge, Eddie? You're playing, get say... Urge, uh, yeah, say, every day. <laughs> oh, sorry, go on. Okay, sorry, I thought we'd finished you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, uh, you know, you're playing uh, Troops of Tomorrow. And it's, it's kind of a, what, can I call it a march uh, sort of beat? Yeah, yeah, um, maybe. Do you, Slower song. Do you, do you get the urge to become an animal, if I got that right this time, and, and just add a whole bunch of flair right in the middle of it? And uh, I, I don't know. So I want to be urged to become an animal? No, not really, because I, uh, I do that in all the other songs. So that, that one makes a nice change that I don't have to become an animal. And gotcha. So that I one, I don't yeah. have to get the urge in that one so much. I see what you mean. The other ones you can go crazy on, and that one. A little bit more so, yeah. Yeah, the app, uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right. So what's it like, man? I mean, on the road across America, you got, you probably have some crazy fans sometimes, and then other times they're, they're, they're looking at you like, what's this British punk about? Yeah. yeah for sure yeah there's all kinds there's nights that people don't really know us um 
and it's more quiet they sort of just take it in if you know what i mean they're just like checking us out like uh -huh. they all seem to enjoy it so you, you yeah. get a good feedback afterwards but the gig can be hard work because you're, you're thinking well why was nobody dancing what's going on here why are they are, are, they, are they bored with us or what's going on you know and you feel like you're not doing a good enough job as an entertainer and then they come after us ah oh, that was great that was yeah. great like yeah okay but we get such a broad spectrum now you know when you when you're watching people come in you know you got like 20 year old punks and then behind them there's all these gray haired old people in their 60s and, you know, it's a big you know broad spectrum of people <laughs> pensioners right down to sort of teenagers it's got to be cool though yes yeah, i think we win new people over some lines of people don't know what we're about and they come yeah. and as people saying afterwards they come and say oh, i really like that i don't know what you're about and to, obviously to gain new people in your audience is uh important and and a good thing yeah right so the younger generation are, are just new fans of any age exactly. mm. yeah. get in there and and get into this music how could this is I, uh, to, to me, how can you not like this sort of great punk pop, or however we describe it, raw, in-your-face rock and roll? It's fun, great music. Absolutely. And, and you're not yeah. trying to, you know, I don't know, t tell, uh, you know, spread a message. I, it's just fun music. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the whole idea when we started out the band. Um, you know, you had all these bands like Queen doing eight-minute operatic crap, you know, with stupid lyrics that were the most pretentious, idiotic crap bullshit you've ever heard in your life. Preach and it, this Daddy. is like number one for eight weeks, and you think, God, yeah. can we get back to some real rock and roll music? Yes. You know, like Chuck Berry and The Who and all those like fast right. rock and roll songs, and that's what we set out to do, and we've stuck with it ever since, yeah. We do some longer songs, but we keep that basic core thing of doing, you know, great fast energetic music right you can put a lot into two and a half minutes absolutely you can get better lyrics a lot of girls tell me that <laughs> that's, that's, that's what she said that's why you got the big that's why you got the big van out there right oh well of course when yeah. the van is rocking don't come knocking that's it it's nigel's in there getting busy can we have another line of questioning now? This is kind of making me feel a bit queasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Painting a pretty picture there. Yeah, uh, look, Texas is a big state, isn't it? You you drive from Houston to Dallas or uh, out west, or the, you know, I mean, you're still in Texas after you drive a few hours, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When you come into Texas from Dallas, it is a mile 989. You think, oh, God, I'm going to go all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> the, and the other thing, too, I think. Uh, touring at this time of year if you're hitting a, a big city and their football team did not win that day your audience might not be in a great mood right away well yeah you, there is that as well but so. well it's half the towns in america every day isn't it, isn't it? yeah the other, yeah. the other ones you try to play in the towns where they've just won the game and they're all in the good mood <laughs> you try to <laughs> schedule it that way <laughs> yeah <laughs> but but i know you're right i mean you can't overanalyze this or try too hard it's it's a it's a it's a great fun gig with a lot of energy mm -hmm. and uh and and that's that's what it is so come on yeah. in and have fun so look for the record tonight three links deep ellum i call it the entertainment capital of texas oh yeah because it is it is yeah a lot of a lot of good clubs on there. a lot of good clubs a lot of good restaurants a lot of yeah. good tattoo artists and a lot of a lot of art in general and a oh, lot yeah. of artists yeah and that's our that's a little bohemia there and you don't have to paint your face black and white to come on either. You don't. No. But <laughs> if I show up this way, you know, just give me a shout out. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> so, but yeah, heck yeah. So that's uh, tonight. And I know you got to get back there by 7. You probably hit the stage late at 9 or 10. I don't know. Uh, I think it's about 10.30-ish. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So get down there. Get down there. Oh, and, and the support band are very good tonight as well. There's a girl band supporting us called Dogs and Diamonds. And we played with them last night. And they're good. Yeah, they're worth cool. checking out. So yeah, worth yeah. checking out. American band? Yeah. 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 Dogs and Diamonds. Yeah. Yeah. Girls. Yeah. Girls. We like the girl bands out here. Girl bands tend to, in America tend to play... The kind of garagey, more melodic kind of end of stuff, whereas a lot of the male bands just like, you know, you, know, you can't. That doesn't appeal to me so much. I like, I like that, what you're saying because you're right. Psychedelic, or slightly. We were talking about this last week. Slightly, uh, touch of Beach Boys in there, or yeah, yeah, something, like you know, that. that's, that's fun. Hey, uh, you mentioned Chuck Berry. Yeah, yeah. So we gotta say R.I.P. 
You know, without oh, Chuck, course, what, yeah. what, uh, you know, where, where would we be sitting right now? Well, there was Elvis as well. Yeah. But Chuck, yeah, I mean, like John Lennon said before, Chuck Berry, there was nothing. He was the first man to come along, really play the guitar and kick it all off. And then mm. you've got all the other people coming in, like, you know, Buddy Holly and that. And that that's what I grew up with. And as a kid, you know, that's what I grew up with. I didn't know you grew up, Eddie. Well, I haven't really, no. Okay. <laughs> he's still, nah, he's still, still a kid. Like a two -year -old. Still a kid. You've seen him play? <laughs> he's still a kid. That's right. <laughs> but not like the Cookie Monster. He's gonna make fun. That's, All right. that's never gonna go away. Though. It's no, animal. You're gonna have to live it's with that for the rest of your that's life. That's fine. Now. You don't let the me. The man who it. doesn't know the Muppets. <laughs> the man who doesn't know the Muppets. That's the way I would like to be known. Exactly. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I, I will embrace that like that. You obviously haven't got children, otherwise you definitely know. <laughs> They're all right here. No. Right. Oh, you butchered them and brought them down specially. We did. Oh. Yeah. We've got. Let's, let's see. Up. This one is for you, Pete. That's just too yeah, bad. Yeah. John Ellis came up with the idea that we all wore masks like that on stage once. He was the only one who went on with it. Oh, look, we're, he's horrible, that bloke. He goes around chopping people up, doesn't he? <laughs> but I don't play ice hockey either, so it's not much good for me. Yeah. Yeah, John Ellis came up like, years and years ago. John Ellis said we all had to wear masks like that on stage, and uh, three of us talked our way out of it, and he went on like that, and after about five minutes, the sweat was running off down his children. We were all laughing our heads off, and he's kind of thinking he's like, cool, but anyway. Sorry, John. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you mentioned these names, and then you mentioned Pat earlier as well. Yep. He's, he's producing the new record. And, yep. But it's all it's all done. It's all recorded. It's all ready, right? Yep. It's all, it should be out. It came out. We did it as a pledge album. So if anyone out there pledged their money, they would have got a copy. Okay. And now it's kind of like on general release, but uh, something got stuck in the pipeline. We were supposed to have CDs when we arrived, and uh, but they should be out pretty soon. But gotcha. it's, all right. It's a very good album. Got some great songs on it. The, uh, I, I like that one on the guest list. And uh, uh, what's the Birdland song? Birdland? Birdland, Birdland is closed. Closed. And you played that live, I believe. Uh, we, we did la up yeah. till last year, yeah. We, we swapped them around, so we got some songs off the new album this time. So Well, great. There'll be some new songs that you haven't heard before tonight. Yeah, yeah. All right, so... And then, and then Pete's singing. Uh, you know, is he doing? Is he doing the? Is he doing the right thing? You know, to give um, you know, give it the right, the right Pete way to be a vibrator, and that is into the future. Or however, you, however that, however that one goes. I used to sing that one. Yeah, we Eddie used to sing in the one. future back in the day. <laughs> I haven't done it for a while, though. Sex kicks. Yeah, yeah that's the into one. Into the future, yeah. sex kick. Yeah, we'll yeah. bring that one back again, actually. But where do you want fans to go to buy past, present, and into the future the new release? Uh, well, you can get it from Cleopatra Records, and you, you, yeah. they'll get out of it in all the main stores, I guess. But it's, it's released by Cleopatra. So we were in Los Angeles. Okay, gotcha. And Cleopatra is related to that movie right there, I think. Well, this is, um, this is a compilation, though, isn't it? It's, well, it's a soundtrack it's to... a soundtrack for the... For the movie, for the movie. Okay. Halloween Pussy Trap Kill Kill, the director is going to be okay, on our yeah, show here later. Yeah, I, th I think I've had emails and stuff about them. They do movie soundtracks and all that kind of stuff. Because, yeah. you know, record companies have got to branch out and get a wider thing because they don't sell so many albums, they don't sell so many CDs, and people download them and give them oh, away free to everybody else. So it's a lot harder in the record company business these days. In, in any ways, is it easier now? touring the world as the vibrators you know more awareness I, more... I don't know there's any more easier or difficult than it was sort of you know 30 or 40 years ago i think it was a period in the 80s where it got pretty <coughs> tough there was a little bit less sort of interest and then suddenly it all picked up in the 90s and it's stuck ever since so. yeah good yeah that, i remember reading in the ramones biography or someone's that they said the same thing the 80s were dry for a while yeah. For punk. Yeah. They had that sort of, um, what they call it, new romantics movement. Right. You would have to dress up as pirates and. Uh, yeah. So they were sort of they were using synthesizers and, yeah. and, and listening to Duran Duran or whatever. And, and uh, so <coughs> for a while there, it was tough for a street punk band. Yeah, yeah. But it, it picked up again. It never, it never go away. Oh, of course. Yeah. Best country to play in, Nigel? America. <laughs> the yeah. groveling little sycophant. No, no come on. <laughs> I believe him. Come on. No, no I, I personally love no, it. I always have it, done. Yeah. And once you're here, 
you've got you know an enormous continent yep. um, that you can move around in and play to generally enthusiastic people. So Good. I'm not being sick of fans. No, no, it's no, my favorite. True. I much prefer it to Europe personally. We all have our favorites. Yeah. And you, you know, uh, where, where's home now? Is, is home is home in Britain? London. Yeah, yeah. Okay, London all right. For me. So when you go home, do mm. they do they they they, look, they say Nigel, you've got a suntan. You must have been to America. No. Oh. You don't get a suntan. We're stuck in a van all day. You just get That's your arms done. You have to put your arm out the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get a trucker's well, America's tan. America's so big. You know, if you when you if you go on tour in Europe and you drive all the way from London to Vienna, that's about a thousand miles. But you've done a, you know, all you've done is get across Texas. Yeah. <laughs> so America's so much bigger, it's so much varied that, that you know, it's, it's great in some ways and, and in other ways you kind of think, oh, but you know. But Texas and America love the vibrators. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we love the vibrators. Women especially love vibrators. They do. They do. Oh, they yes. Do. I've noticed that. We yeah. always get a load of them down in front of the show. They really get stuck I into it. You know, I was going to ask that, but then I thought that's a stupid question, and I don't want to ask Eddie stupid questions. I don't. <laughs> I, that is that is my fear. I don't. But the Cookie Monster, he doesn't come to us. That wasn't a question. <laughs> that was a, an error. Am I? Okay. So, are you telling me that girls would bring vibrators and put them on the stage? No, no, on no stage, but I, I've signed quite a few. Oh, yeah. Hmm. We we had our own line. I've given their personal toys as as a talking of appreciation with just i just had to show it to people like look what i just got <laughs> we had and our own like, we had our own brand for a up. while as well we had the vibrators vibrators so quite a lot of those yeah we did them for with a company called love honey in england but I I think with, some of them actually came and made it out here but we did have the own personal vibrators vibrators eddie i am i am glad you are here <laughs> i'm very proud of the vibrators and you guys man just being stalwarts and soldiers and moving forward and you know, if there was any justice in the music industry, you'd be playing the stadiums. Well, yeah, maybe, but that's, that's but the then, way the world, But then isn't it? fuck that, because stadium probably is not as great a thing yeah. as you think it is. No, I would prefer no, to all be that money the must be hell. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> driving, a, driving a nice car, living yeah. in a nice house. <laughs> and you're on an airplane. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> flying the first class instead of fucking... You your knees what? by your chin. That's it. Who yeah. <coughs> needs out. all of that? Who oh, needs all that? Must be rubbish, isn't it? So no, look what not. I know. I noticed that some some clubs in in America, I, I think in Dallas here, are are doing the vibrator races where they have these they have the girls bring a vibrator, put some fresh batteries in it, and they have these like lines that the vibrator has to stay in. <laughs> I and, love and, the and idea. Of that. I would love to see first that as they kind of. You know, jump down. It wriggles the... along. I would love yeah. to see. Yeah. I need to look that up on YouTube. It's got to be something like that filmed. <laughs> well, so you can't was... make a real live vibrator, a real human live vibrator, unless there are only a few of them. You know, there's not that many to go around. That's right. Yeah. And see, I thought when you know when I when I found out about your band Eddie, first I thought this is a perfect punk name. Because of the Pogo, and then uh, yeah, did we have yeah. a song called Pogo? Yeah, we did that with Chris Bedding. It wasn't us; it was his song, and we backed him on it. Yeah. And uh, and dancing. and then you you had you had punks out there pogoing for the vibrators. Yeah. And, and you know, I just that image, Nigel, to me, that's punk. That's punk. Kids yeah. jumping up and down. Yes. And now you've got grown adults jumping up and down what's wrong with that yeah well the kids jump up and down at the front and the old the adults with the gray hair at the back stand and, but they're and still careful. enjoying it oh, they, they don't it. know yeah. what to do with their arms that's all yeah. yeah right well i'll be one of them anyway i wouldn't be down in the front in the mosh pit at my age i'll be at the back no do you go to shows yeah yeah, yeah. you can't poke over the hole in your beer well. yeah <laughs> they are old enough to drink so very still <laughs> right. very still otherwise yeah. you spill <laughs> yeah, though, who do you like to go see, Eddie? Um, well, I like to go and see new bands if I can, you know, you go and see things that are new. Although, I I, have so, I went to see, the last show I went to in London was um, CJ Ramone. Yeah. That was really good, I really liked him, he was very, very good. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, he was a great talent, and uh, yeah. yeah, that's right, man. CJ, and, and uh, we had Marky on our show not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, we played with him as well a couple of times, and uh, he, he's very good as well. He, he had a couple of guys from Argentina playing, and they were, it was almost like, shut your eyes, it could have been a remote. With, um, what's his name, from the uh, the Misfits singing, I can't remember his name. Uh, no, uh, Michael Graves? Yeah, or? that's it, yeah, that's the yeah. fella. Cool. 
you guys get to South America? Yeah, <laughs> into prison. They love you down there. Oh, that's huh? really great. Though. It's, that's it's, my favorite place to play. There you go. Yeah, because the wild the in Brazil. Aren't they? It's absolutely mental. They go we we played one show there. Um, it was supposed to be an acoustic show, and the PA wasn't very good. And as we started playing, um, nobody could hear Knox is singing. It didn't matter because the whole room was singing every song. <laughs> That was good. You know, word by word. They knew every word. We, we, knew we, every just, we were word. just backing band for the right. audience to sing. And it was the Is best, best show. I feeling. just met yeah, one yeah, guy on great, this tour yeah. and he was at that gig. Yeah. And he was like, was remember that, that kick? I'm like, of course I remember that kick. Yeah, yeah. Like, blown away. Like, it's just like, mouth open watching it. Like, what's going on here? Fantastic. Amazing. Yes. Amazing experience. Yeah. I, you know, I, I don't know, man. I, I wish I wish that in Dallas, you know, I could get 5,000 people crammed in there for you and all yeah. jumping up and down like Brazil, but it just varies Absolutely. geographically, doesn't it? I, yeah, yeah, it varies by the day. You can, you can play with yeah. the same town on Sunday and you come back on Friday. It's completely different. different it, in America, we have these unfortunate mass shootings, and then it seems like the next day after that, no one goes anywhere. And, you know, People and get scared. Unfortunately, sometimes you're on tour that, you know, and it's crazy. Absolutely, because it comes, you know, on every channel. And, you, know, you, you end up hearing about it, and of course, it's going to scare you. Yeah. This happens in the UK as well. Yeah. We got, got people running around with knives and, uh, you know, mowing people with their vans and whatnot. And, uh, that stops quite a few people to yeah. go out. Are there still good record shops in London? Yeah, there is. So in Soho or where are the Camden? Camden. Um, well, there's Camden. Camden. There's one really good punk rock um, shop called uh, All Ages Records. Yeah. There's one in They're Soho very, too. Very good. Berwick Street. Yeah, good. Yeah. And and these uh, they they've just kind of been around forever or. Uh, well, yeah. Ages has been there quite a long time. Yeah. Yeah, but the rough rough trade is probably. That's been running all the time. Yeah, yeah you, that's been going since the 70s. I'm sure at some of your shows you have you have 10 year old fans. You have you have you have kid we have fans. You have we, we the youngest fan we had on this tour was four years old. That's right. Good. She came and the mom mom made her shirt. Yeah, my greatest shirt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Little girl, four years old. Luckily, they allowed her in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was I all ages speaking. show. Yeah. All ages show. Yeah, just come to mum and dad shows. She was allowed in. <laughs> she didn't that. drink. She's staying in the front line. Oh, <laughs> blown away. It's crazy stuff. I know you have to think, man. I, I uh, don't don't kick out there because I don't want to hit hit a fan. Well, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I know hopefully no one else. Well, like, hopefully the, no one else knocks audience. her over. Yeah. yeah. So, do, do you get surprised sometimes where I, I don't know you play three songs that all of a sudden all of a sudden it just kicks in and there's a mosh pit just with you know you're thinking wow well you yeah i mean i'm i always hope that that happens from the first note from the first note yeah it should be the first note not the third song or not fifth the, song uh, right it should be from the start but you can't win every night you can't win every night no. you you guys are the best i just uh eddie i want to be your friend now don't be mad at me for the <laughs> for the animal mistake <laughs> You know, we've talked before. We, we talked. We talked a year ago or so. It's just a phone call we did. Oh um, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think you were in Florida, and there was a big storm. This was a year ago. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, we had to skirt around a hurricane. And lost about three or four shows. And, and so, what do you do when there's bad weather? You, you just well, you, you just, just, just skirt out, around it. Yeah. Gotta go around it. I mean, we we drove pretty much. We drove all day and all night to go around the hurricane. Yeah, As it was do. creeping up north. We had to go around it and go to south. Yeah, we've we already passed Miami, and uh, we could not find a hotel anywhere. Everything was booked where in the area where we we're supposed to be staying. They gave our room away. Yeah. So next next idea was like, okay, well we're in Miami tomorrow. Let's call the Motel Six there, and so we did. And they said, yeah, we got a room. It's okay, we'll be there at five in the morning. Right. So we just drove all night. And did they have that room? Yeah, 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 yeah we were sorry that they even gave us the room for free though, for that night. So. Oh, that's right, yeah. But like you had to drive all night. Is we the we got there at 5 o'clock and said, yeah. if you wait 10 yeah. minutes, the you computer. won't be get charged for this. Yeah. Tonight, we get yeah. basically two days for the price of one. The computer really? clicks over at 5 o'clock. So yeah. you check in at 5 past 5 and you can get it for, for one day's rate. And there if you, you check in yeah. at 5 to 5, you've got to pay two. See? Uh, that's a little 
A little Th trick are, for all the fans. For all the bands. This is what I was hoping to learn today. <laughs> yeah. Crack calls as well. They play like that. <laughs> <laughs> two for one. Yeah, 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 two for one. That's right. Yeah. Well, man, I mean, I wish we could stay all night and I could ask you the crazy stories you've seen on the road or fans or, you know, or, or anything. But maybe we'll do that next time. Next time. Is that yeah. fair enough? Why the hell not? Nigel, man, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Pete, love you, brother. Thank you very much. Eddie, I have more respect for you than any musician. I do. <laughs> yeah. Looks bonkers, isn't he? <laughs> I am. Oh, yeah. Calm down. Look, like, calm oh, down. come on. <laughs> come on. The vibe, I love the vibrate. Look, the, the thing is, the reason we do this show is to just kind of, I don't know, get just get the word out of what exciting is happening. Yeah, you can take it off. Uh -oh. Just take it off. Her. Just take the whole thing. Speaking of pirates. Pirates? Yeah. She mm. might be from there. That looks more like my girlfriend than one down there. <laughs> Oh, with the mouth sores? <laughs> that's Hold more, that up. That's more of a Nigel's style. Yeah. That, oh, Nigel's style. Yeah. I wonder what she's been sucking. <laughs> <laughs> look at that mouth. <laughs> sticks of that look, that sticks that of look rock. Sticks of rock. Yes, yeah. it does. Yeah. Cold sores. Of, yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Blackpool rock with cold yeah. sores on it. Did you used to see fans with cold sores? That's not so much a thing anymore, is it? No, I don't no, see that. No, damn it. Fuck no. <laughs> yeah. Excuse my yeah, friends. Yeah, thank fuck no. Yeah. Yeah. We love you. Dallas says thank you for hey, being here. Be I'm Thanks gonna for send us. I'm gonna send you a copy of this show that okay. we, we post on YouTube. Of course we do it live also yeah. on Facebook. But uh I'll send you a copy, man, if you guys want to post it on your Absolutely. Facebook. Absolutely, we please stick it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. cool. And, sure. and then like I said, we're talking to some more Cleopatra people uh here here shortly. So. Right on. I know you gotta get over there. Thank you. Thank you. What, here, here's Absolutely. what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna take it out with a video here uh, that this is our, our engineer Ziggy. Okay. Uh, and uh, we get we found a live video of you guys from somewhere. Okay. Playing somewhere. So we're just gonna take it out with that video, and I'll I'll walk you out. Oh, super super it. Guess where the video was done. <laughs> Yeah, man, that was great. So, am I am I way too hot? Okay, the um, <laughs> vibrators are from London, England. Yeah, they were just here in this studio. Mm -hmm. Is that fantastic? That They're is playing fantastic. gig tonight They're in Dallas. Tonight at three Freaking weeks. love them. Hey, let's talk about this for just a second. Okay. This one right here, Janie Slash. 
Tell me what we got. We have Deadly Sins uh, next Saturday on October 21st. Sorry. At Wits End. Sorry, I'm trying to turn down. They're so loud. I can hear them. They're yeah, way too hot. It's way oh, too it's over here. Hot. Yeah, I'll, yeah we're Oh, okay. Thank you. Sorry. And yeah. yeah so this is in Deep Ellum also. Mm -hmm. Wits End on the 21st. It's only $8 to get in. This is the cool Deadly Sins burlesque. It's our Halloween, Halloween show. It's show. one of my favorite shows of the year. Yeah. I always get really excited about it. I we like have lots of fun, spooky routines planned. I like when we got the uh, British guys in the studio. Yeah, they were really nice. They were really nice. I, I got to talk to them outside before they came in here. I was doing homework. Good for you. Yeah, All right. Sorry. So we want to talk about, let's see, where did this one go? It's... um. Halloween Pussy Trap Kill Kill. Yeah. This is the uh, double disc uh, soundtrack. Aren't they going to be screening that soon? Do, 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 do. The screening, we'll talk to Jared about it. So the director of this movie, excuse me, is Jared Cohn, <clears throat> C-O-H-N, C-O-H-N. He also directed. How do you uh, spell that? What was that again? Devil's Domain. He also directed. And uh, the, I, I freaking love Devil's Domain. And so I know this will be good. And besides, the trailer is freaking awesome. Yes. So it it's got to be good, right? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. how it works. Hey, look what I found too. This is something that Texas Theater was doing. Texas Theater does a lot of really neat things. With some more uh, Clyde Barker stuff. Yeah, it's it's October. Isn't They're doing great? the, the we live 30th in a anniversary city. Hellraiser screening. This. I think this yes. weekend. So in a moment, we will try and connect here with um, uh, Jared Cohn. Awesome. And talked to him for a while. He is calling from Kentucky where he's working on cool, cool. He can tell us. He yeah. Tell us about yeah, it. yeah. I want to hear all about it. Yeah. I want to grab my jacket over here, Janie. Mr. Jared Cohn. So we'll bring him on. So say you're the not putting movie. that on, are you? The movie is called. Yeah. It's hot <laughs> it's like, in here. It's called Halloween Pussy Trap Tra Kill Kill. 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 The screening is coming up here in, in Dallas-Fort Worth area. We had some friends who went and saw American Satan today. Yes, they did. Yeah, so we're, mm -hmm. we're going to talk to them by phone, get kind of a review. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. That's the plan. I don't know if you can see it, but the poster is underneath here. Yes, you can't see it. Well, you kind of can. I can see the tan. I like, American Satan. I, look, I like the idea for this movie. I... I also, I've talked to Ash. Well, we, we've corresponded by email is what I mean. And hopefully we'll be able to kind of get him live and in, in, in maybe in the very near future and talk further about yeah. how this movie's doing. And, and it, you know, I'm sure that he's proud of it and it's out there right now. So go see it. American Satan. Check it out. Connect here to, with Jared. I like how it looks like there's a rat emerging from my boobs. Yeah, it does. It's and like right here. Too. It's like, rah. hello. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, Jared. Yes, we can hear you. Uh, hold on. Can you see me? Can you see me? Let's see. Yes, we can. Oh, let me get Look at you, man. Hey, so you've got Satan and Janie Slash here. Hello. So hello. We, we say welcome from the Corpse Paint Show. Happy to be happy yeah. to be on here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah, and here's what we're all about. We're about independent horror. Yeah, and I've got my Devil's Domain shirt on. Oh, you do? Oh, excellent. You know, I I watched it fairly recently, and I loved it. Uh, this awesome, Janie awesome. slash. So I told you about it. It's about this girl who's bullied at school. Mm -hmm. And then she finds a friend online who takes care of all of her problems. And, uh, yeah, who, who's in it that we like? Michael Madsen? Michael Madsen. Yeah, Michael Madsen. Yeah. 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 He's, yeah. yeah. he's a, he's a, he's a, I'm trying to, I'm going to pull up on my phone. Let me see if I can watch, I'm going to watch, uh, I want to see you guys. Okay. Uh, will, will they have mess up? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. And oh yeah! Got my devil's domain shirt. Oh wait, it's a little backed up. Oh, you do? Oh, X. Yeah, maybe just turn down the volume. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> I don't have any headphones, so I can't hear anything. 
Oh. Just want to point that out real quick. Wait a second. Yeah, what nobody, happened? I have no headphones. Oh, my It's fault. okay. No, it's fine. You know you do. I'm just saying that's why I'm really no. quiet. <laughs> no, I have this pair right here. Okay, well, you hand those to me. No, no, no. You take these and I take those. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Mine. So. Wait. Uh, yeah, so did that. Oh, yeah, a little technical. Okay, yeah, I can see you now. Awesome. Yeah, all right, man. Oh, I can hear you now. I love the I love the look. You got this is a great makeup. <laughs> yeah, we're the corpse paint show, so I love I love wearing the corpse paint. And I don't know if you can see what I'm holding here. This is the double disc soundtrack. It's a little. Yeah, it's a little. I will see it. Uh, yeah. Momentarily, there. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah, a. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, so, oh, it switches. It's on me. I guess. I guess it. Does it go? It go, cuts back and forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll see it now. Uh, hey, I just wanted to let you know that there is a great song on here, obviously that you like as well, and that's uh, from Jerky sixty nine. Last Halloween, what a great song, man. He's dope, man. Like, yeah, I was. I had the opportunity. I was hanging out with him, <laughs> and, and uh, big shout out to him and and Brian uh, Cleopatra Records, Cleopatra Entertainment, and yeah. uh, Brian Pereira uh, for hooking up. Um, you know, Devil's Domain, the hot, you know, Halloween Pussy Trap, Kill Kill. Um, uh, we had, there was another movie. There was a, uh, but then the movie, the movie that we're doing now, uh, The Relic. Um, we got uh, uh, William Shatner, great, uh, who's, who's who's badass. Uh, yeah. Jerry Ryan from, uh, um, you know, both from Star Trek. So we're we're really, you know, getting all the. The, the trackies together. Yeah. Oh, that's great, man. That's great. So look, I just wanted to point this out real quick and then we want to hear about your projects. And also we'll talk some more about Halloween pussy trap, kill, kill. But I just had a band in the studio, the vibrators and their new release is on Cleopatra. And uh, so we were talking about that too. It, it's turned out, this is our Cleopa Cleopatra records, Cleopatra movies releases show. So, and it's working out perfect. You know, this, yeah, I love those guys. So much love. Uh, it's such a cool label. You know, they've been around since 92. And just a great vibe. The yeah. music, the movies. Um, they're really doing it right. Doing it doing it up. Big. And I do want to point out that Jerky69, the song Last Halloween, the lyrics go October 15th, two weeks till Halloween. Well, that's today. So we're going to have to play this song, right? We're going to have to play this song uh, last Halloween because it's all about October 15th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That, it's, today's the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, worked out, it worked out uh, so good. There's a, there's a name that I just learned uh, the night before Halloween is called, some people call it Mischief Night. Is okay. that is that is that have you heard that? Yes, yes. Um or or Devil's, Devil's Night. Devil's Night too. I've heard it as both. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know. I, I was uh I was just like, yeah, October thirtieth. Like Right. <laughs> I didn't know it was Devil's Night. That's a doubt. I'm mean, now right. I know. Devil's Night and and actually, um, you know, I'm thinking when you say that, I think of Detroit and that for a while there they had a lot of mischief going on on the streets and on Devil's they Night. They still but... have Devil's Night celebration every year. Yeah. 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 Yeah, for sure. Oh, no, you can hear me. Hey, Jamie, you can hear me. Can you yeah, hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Hey, I, we got <laughs> oh, we got yeah, the yeah. headphone thing situated. Oh, cool. I was, I was like, I was looking at because now I, I can see you. Yeah, great. You guys got great looks. I love it. Um, I wasn't sure if you were hearing. That's good. No, we're yeah, all we're all tuned. Yeah, I, got, I can hear now. I got uh, oh, that's so. <laughs> look at that. Yeah, I got man. it live. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you see, it's like a. That's, All right. That's interesting. So, Jarrett, so look, here's here's the scoop on your movie, Halloween Pussy Trap, for Dallas-Fort Worth. The movie is screening, it looks like, at, at just one theater on the 27th. So this is a special screening in Dallas. It's at American Cinema. American Cinema, and that's called La Grande in Fort Worth. 
So we have not yeah. been to that theater yet. No, so we, I haven't so, even heard of it. Yeah, so, so we got to go. That's yeah, the 27th. We're going. We will be there. The 27th, and it's American Cinema La Grande Plaza, I think is the name of the actual location of that uh, that theater. And it's it's in Fort Worth. So all our Dallas friends, all our Fort Worth friends, uh, mark your calendar for the 27th. That's mm -hmm. perfect. That's the Friday before Halloween to see Halloween Pussy Trap Kill Kill. Uh, you and, got the disc. I, yeah, yeah, got yeah. The, the, that's dope. I didn't even know that. That was uh, uh, out. Yeah. Did, oh, did Cleo Pat, Patrick send that, or is that available? Yeah. Well, I ordered it. I think I think directly from Amazon, um, or no, from Cleopatra Records directly. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, it's a it's a it. it's a double disc, Jared. It's a great C, uh, two CDs. Yeah, with you know a bunch of great music from the movie. It's it's you know it's it's got goth on there, and then there's even a song by Kill Pussy Kill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the the band. Uh, yeah, in the movie, yeah, we recorded a, a, a live, live track and and uh, um, Devil's Domain sounds. Yeah, Devil's Domain soundtrack as well has some great, um, just some great, you know, great music all, all around. Um, I agree. That's a cool movie. Yeah, and it, it, it definitely. Yeah, I definitely think it has like a social you know sort of commentary on you know with the with everything with with facebook and cyber bullying yep. uh not just facebook yeah i guess they people bully on many platforms but uh so it's good you know it's good to do something uh you know raise awareness at the very least you know raise you awareness you bet get people talking about it and look this is a well-made great looking movie and 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 you're independent director and i'm sure that it, it wasn't a huge budget you had uh so i mean you know just a big high five for devil's domain uh, it looks i mean it is fantastic and then halloween pussy trap looks fantastic we played the trailer uh, here uh, previously on the show love it mm -hmm. oh man so that's, i'm so that's so cool man um because yeah you know as a independent filmmaker you know, sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll put a film will come out and, you know, you, the people in the, your, your friends and, you know, family and, uh, you know, you talk about it sometimes, you know, you just don't, uh, you know, some of I mean, sometimes, you know, they create a big buzz. You never know. It all, a lot of it comes down to, uh, you know, market, marketing, distribution, and I'm not going to get into, uh, uh, you know, that that side but yeah i mean obviously you know like big major what i will say is like you know major studios spend you know millions you know sometimes you know massive amounts of money you know on marketing and uh that's you know it's, it's so key marketing is so key but yeah check it out the movie drops on halloween uh october 31st what, what, what about, so wide release uh on, on the 31st yeah, yeah, wide wide release. Uh, oh. and the, I think in the theater, yeah, the theater is is twenty you know, third, fifteen cities. Yeah, um, one night only, and uh, I, you know, I, uh, I I'll put that information on the, um, I can throw it on the on your page and please, and I'll put it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Well, uh, okay. So, but I thought the date uh, for the special screenings was the twenty seventh, right? It's a Friday. Oh, you know, what? it I think it depends on the city. I don't want okay. you know. I don't want to. I don't want to give the wrong information. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me let, let me uh, off the top of my head. Um, but I will. You know, I will post it. I'll All post right. it after this. I don't want to go. I can dig digging through my my email now. Stay focused. Uh, um, but yeah. You know, everyone. If anyone's in the in the city where it's screening, I you know, please come out and check it out. It'll be a good time. Um, you know, Dave Mustaine. Yeah. From Megadeth, Metallica. Right. You know, did did the Evil Voice and that. He, I, I flew out to Nashville. Yeah. Uh, to record with him, and he's big shout out to him. Right. What a nice guy, cool guy, great voice, uh, and really just elevated the movie um oh i'm sorry the, you know on the 23rd there is the premiere in la that's what i'm thinking okay uh, okay okay and i know yeah you guys if you were if you want to roll to la the premiere is going to be a dope event rooftop 200 seats nice um at the Mont Blanc. yeah uh 
All, so, all, look, all we need are two seats in the back. We're fine with that. Dude, you got it. You know, they'll be, they'll, they'll be, uh, you know, it's going to be a good event. <laughs> I'm actually on. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. Uh, I'm in, I'm in Kentucky right now. All right. So um, let's talk about that. You're working on a project there. Yeah, we are. Um, uh, uh, we're on Cleo, Cleopatra, uh, is producing, uh, I'm directing, uh, story, original story by William Shatner. Uh, um, so, uh, and writer Maurice, who wrote Star Trek, many episodes. Um, so it's it's gonna be uh, it's dope. We're locking down. We got some amazing locations. Yeah, you know, I've been out here scouting um, the caves. You know, we came out here for the caves. Yeah, and there are just uh, you know crazy caves with all these formations and under you know just they go they're. 3,000 caves in Kentucky. I uh -huh. didn't know. But, I, uh, I didn't either. You know, beautiful. Some beautiful people, great people. Uh, it's a cool, yeah, it's a cool city. It's a cool city. And Louisville. It, all right. Louisville. I, and I've been, I've been pronouncing it. Everyone pronounces it. How do you pronounce it? Louis, right? Louisville. You think it's Louisville, but it's not. It's actually Louisville. And, and everyone was, you know, correcting me very quickly uh, over here. So. You know, fun fact. <laughs> All right. Well, well, thank you for giving me that heads up because, yeah, for sure, man. All right. So, yeah. did, did you say this is called the relic? The relic. Yeah. Yeah. The relic, uh, aka La Reliquia. Okay. Um, but uh, you know, the, who knows if the title, the titles get changed often. Yeah. Um, but as of as of the moment, that's that's the uh, the title. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. So, is it more? cool action or gore or horror or you know monsters in caves there is a uh, definitely action you know what, what i like about it is it's a family coming together it's about this cursed family and the only way to undo this curse is to find you know is to find the relic and there you know they come together and there's and the curse there's this, there's this creature. It's called the the Einen, and it's it's badass. Uh, this suit's uh, designed by Vince Guastini, who you know he worked on Aliens and uh, the you know Ridley Scott, um, and just major talented uh, team. Um, and they made these guys killer suits, and like it looks so dope. I don't want to say what it looks like. Right. I, you know, wait. Yeah. Uh, you know, when the movie comes out, um, definitely. Uh, okay. You'll see these great suits, and and then there's the main suit, and then there's five, uh, like sort of, you know, drones, like these mini sort of. Yeah. You know, the killers that he that he got on call. All right. So it's a creature feature. Is that okay to say? <sighs> you know. I don't really, you know, I, I, I'd say action adventure, okay. you know, with some horror elements. Uh, um, I, I, it's not really, you know, there's, yeah, there's definitely, um, it's, you know, like Predator, would you call Predator a creature feature? I see what you mean. Yeah. I see what that's, you mean. It's sort of like that. That's, that's sort of like, it's like Indiana Jones meets Predator. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. Because there's caves. There's caves and uh, this sounds good. Yeah, I mean he's he's trying to find he's trying to find something. He's on a mission, so the whole you know it's it's it's, it's sort of in that it's got that going for it, you know. Jared, look, you're starting off now on this movie tentatively called The Relic, mm -hmm. and Janie Slice, this is something that we always are curious about. What is really your time frame? Is it is it like two years? So this I mean this script actually was written you know 20 years ago but my uh, my involvement um with it i'd say started you know about uh, I, you know a little over a year ago maybe uh, i'd say um so it was a process i mean getting any any movie off the ground uh is a process and you know i had a great opportunity to meet uh you know william shatner and, and discuss with him uh, the project, you know, get, you know, focusing on the script, uh, make, you know, getting that, um, sort of tailoring a little bit to, uh, the locations, casting, uh, uh, the project, um, 
is, you know, that was, all, we're still actually, you know, trying to get a lockdown, uh, a few other cool names that, you know, I don't, I don't want to say who, cause it's not, those aren't, uh, officially. Yeah. Um, solid yet, solid yet. But, uh, um, but yeah, I mean, right now it's, it's been crazy, you know, we're meeting, you know, it's, it's talking with the stunt coordinator, production designer, um, and, you know, anytime you shoot in a location where, you know, where we have to hire, you know, local crew and, and, yeah. and we're, you know, what's great about Kentucky filming in Kentucky is, you know, they have a good uh, tax incentive and a lot of states are, you know, have good tax incentives and Kentucky's thir- uh, 30%, you know, there's a, yeah. um, you know, obviously there's a minimum spend in every state, but, uh, that's a good deal. I mean, yeah. that's why a lot, a lot more productions are coming coming to Kentucky. Uh, I mean, and I'm not saying, you know, filming in California is always, uh, you know, is, is always good, but you know, every state is sort of com- competing sure. not a little bit, you know, yeah, trying to yeah. raise their incentives because, you know, the money, the money comes in, it's good for the state. Yes, indeed. And so you're directing the movie. Do you, uh, do the casting and do you go look at the caves or do you have others who would do those chores for you? Uh, I'm, I'm there. I'm boots on the ground. Every, yeah. every scout, you know, I, every meeting, uh, I really yeah. like to be hands on, um, as much as I can. Um, you know, and you know, they are, you know, you work with the people, but you have, you know, you have to trust, you know, you like, you have meetings, send concepts to, you know, for instance, wardrobe, uh, the customer and, and sort of come up with the looks for each character, you know, talk to the cinematographer about, um, you know, the locations, the lighting and, uh, you know, when it's really about your crew, your team, you know, if yeah. you have really talented people, um, they will, you know, help you with, uh, you know, making the movie great. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what I'm, you know, always trying to do is make the best movie right. possible with the resources, you know, that, that we have. You've got to, you've got to keep the crew happy. You got to keep, your whole back team happy and and that creates a good atmosphere on on all the sets i imagine so important man uh so important i've you know i've had great amazing experiences you know making making movies but sometimes you know there's there sometimes there's a bad apple uh in the mix and i'm not gonna <laughs> certainly not gonna name any names but yeah. it can really throw off the whole vibe vibe yeah, yeah. i mean big time quickly too. It's, it's, um, but you know, a lot of times, you know, if, if he's the short of, if, if the thing, if the pre-production, if the preparation is in place, uh, and everything goes smooth, you know, as possible. And, you know, maybe a couple hiccups, people are, you know, will forgive that, but if everything's, you know, not, you know, disaster and I, and, you know, big shout out to the, 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 the line producer and the UPM who I'm here with, uh, now, uh, they're what, you know, they're hard at work, um, you know, doing the sketch, you know, and yeah. just getting these locations and trying to dial in this, uh, the schedule. And I mean, it's a lot, you know, there's a lot, a lot of work goes into it and, uh, I'm, you know, people sometimes may not see that but it's a lot a lot of work that's right i know it's difficult to make a movie i know that hey look jared are you so you're flying out to la on the 23rd um yeah yeah i'm 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 trying to lock that in right now um you know made i mean i'm 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 here and uh you know it's close to the start date so um i definitely want to go to the premiere uh slight possibility i mean it's, it's slight possibility i will have to be stay here and uh focus you know put my focus and energy yeah, on that, the that's relic fine. that's fine that's um, fine yeah that's fine what uh, so if you're in kentucky on halloween what's halloween for jared this year you know it's funny we actually start shooting on halloween okay um, perfect that's great <laughs> oh. oh we lost jared him. are you still there He's gone. Okay, we'll get him back. We'll get him back. All right, so Halloween Pussy Trap Kill Kill. I always like movies, though, where the title does not fit on the marquee. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> or they have to use they the. They would just need a really ginormous marquee or really little print. <laughs> yeah, think about like Texas Theater. So there's plenty of room there, mm -hmm. right? I came back. But, oh, Welcome hey, Jerry. Hey, man. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, I was like, I was just all of a sudden uh, rambling. I don't, and then, um, yeah, I just I heard like a like a pop and then silence. I'm, a, I'm sorry, man. All right. We got you back. It's great to talk to you, Jared. It's great. And I say big congratulations on Halloween Pussy Trap Kill Kill. With kill Kill. With two exclamation points in there. Yeah. Those two. And, you you know, two. we're, we're going to find where this is playing, and I'm going to take a picture of that whole title off of a movie marquee and send it to you, man. All right? Yeah, I love it, man. I love it. Thank you. And you know what? I love that you guys support, you know, indie film, indie music. Uh, and uh, that, yeah. that's awesome, man. Um, you know, a lot of people are just, you know, watch mainstream movies and, you know, A-list actors, which is cool. I let you know, and sure. I, I, I do the same, but I also, you know, watch independent. Yes. You know, I mean, there's so much content. Here's the thing. There's so much content, uh, especially now, you know, Netflix, Amazon, and, and independent films, and it's it's you can't just can't you can't watch it all i mean otherwise you'd be literally sitting 24 hours uh, a day um right that's right that might not be so bad though <laughs> <laughs> so what we're considering doing is quitting our regular jobs and just watching film all day wouldn't that be great probably be great for about a year and then after that you'd be like ah i'm bored <laughs> yeah i can imagine your, probably, your head would be uh head would be spun but uh yeah i mean that would be pretty fun there's a lot of good stuff. I was watching this show, American Vandal, on Netflix. Have you seen that? Have not. It is hysterical. And this guy, it's uh, Dylan, Dylan. It's all about this Dylan. It's this crazy, it's this crazy documentary TV show. And and I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm er, fairly early into it. but So he got basically what happened in school. And this is the craziest thing. Somebody... somebody drew dicks all over the school, the staff, the teachers and their cars. Right. Right. And, and they are accusing this guy uh, of doing it. And they have this whole case and he's like basically on school trial, you know, he's got expelled and, and he's making his case of, that he didn't do it. <laughs> and it's like the most bizarre thing. And all his friends are like, no, he was with me. And, um, and then the, te the teachers are like, no, he's been drawing penises on the whiteboard for since he was in kindergarten. And it's like, this is so out there. And the kid is so funny. Um, yeah. It's 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 just so quirky and hysterical. Yeah, cool. So it's a faux documentary. I, I think it's real. I think okay. it's real. All right, great. <laughs> it's, it's, it's. I think it's real, yeah, you know, like it's, it's done, like it's real. I, I'm not, I'm going to Google whether or not it's faux. I, I can't imagine that being faux, um, but maybe, right. you know, you never know. That's but right. It's, that's right. It, well, cool, man. And I got to tell you the finally, 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 finally in our house, we got a big TV with a good looking screen. Now, usually uh, I wait for years and years and years before getting like new technology. Anyways, right, Jamie Slash? It's true. I had to talk him into it. And and then, but one of the first movies I watched on it, and it looked so good, was Devil's Domain. I just That's freaking good. loved it. And I, I love the imagery. I love the logo. I love the, the artwork. I, and I love the actresses and Michael Madsen, too. So. I, you know, I'm, I love it, man. Devil's Domain. It's such, I love it. I love you know, it's it's gotten me. It's funny just wearing this T-shirt and um, and around like you know like the goth you know crowd and and it's Good. dope. I you know yeah. I love. It. I mean I go. I, I actually I love. Um, you know, there's Comedy Christ, Three Teeth. Yeah, I love um, them. Mm -hmm. Oh, freaking love them. They just played in I Dallas a few months ago. I, I fantastic. They are so dope. Um, yeah. And I was I, hung, I got a chance to hang out with them, yeah, uh, a few times. And I went to them. I saw them live um, at this club in, in in L.A. And man, they killed it. They killed it. And you know, it's total total goth yeah. scene. People, I mean, just all you know, all out amazing outfits and styles. 
um, I really appreciate that. You know, it's it, it's a lot of you know, it's it's really an expression of art and and yeah. individuality. Um, and you know, I I really respect that. And their music is just love them. Like it hits. Like it yes, hits. It like I was just rocking out so hard. It hits. And and uh, so just a comment on the title, Devil's Domain. It works on so many levels. I get it. I love that name. And uh, let's jump to Three Teeth. They've got a song here on our so double disc soundtrack. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad, man. I'm so glad. That was one of the reasons I bought it is to sing the Three Teeth song on there. Yeah, he loves Three Teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Luna, and Luna 13 as well. Big shout out to them. Cool. Those guys killed it too. I saw them live. Yeah. We got to talk some more, Jared, down the road, man, as things progress for you with this movie, The Relic, or however it ends up being titled, and uh, and just your progress. And and who knows, man, maybe maybe in two weeks there will be just craziness going on about, you know, Pussy Trap Kill Kill. Fantastic. I just hope and wish all the best for you on this on this release and, and, and your new project, man. Dude, I dig it, man. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I really, pre I really, really, really. Truly appreciate uh, the words that you just said. Um, you know, I, I work hard to, uh, uh, you know, to make, um, you know, good movies, and you learn everything, learn something new um, from every movie, and and you know, really trying to grow as a filmmaker um, and entertaining, you know, entertain people, and also tell good stories. Um, and yeah, that's 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 really where where I'm, I'm at yeah that's um, it that's it and interesting characters you know and, oh, characters and, yeah characters you know it starts and ends it starts and ends with the script um mm -hmm. and you know you can make it you can spend millions of dollars you know and blowing up buildings and and uh which is cool you know and sure. uh but you gotta have a good yeah story you know you gotta really get behind uh stories you know yeah. stories so important and We're uh that's you know that's screenwriting you know I, I write you know i wrote devil's domain uh I, you know i constantly write trying to you know always trying to improve it's tough man a big shout out to anyone that's writing books and blogs and it's a lonely craft you know you're in a room with your la a laptop or you know computer or what, whatever and uh you know it's hard it's it, it can be it's really hard and some people that are some people are just so good at it I, I, you know, I hear what you're saying. I totally do. And just wanted to say also that like in Devil's Domain, I felt a real connection to that lead character. And so that's what drew me in. And I mean, we're all human. And if you, if you portray it right, we're going to have that close connection to him. And then anything that happens to him is just amplified because I'm thinking, hey, don't mess with this girl, <laughs> you know. So. She did good, you know. Yeah. Uh, she's a very talented actress. Um, Maddie Bodine um, did a really good job portraying, you know, the pain, and and then Linda Bella as the devil. Um, yeah. And uh, we like we like movies with the devil in it. The devil is <laughs> cool. I mean, the devil. You know, I was much more. And this movie, The Relic, is also has this. You know, devil themed and 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 you know. So I've been do, doing a lot of sort of you know some some more research, and I'm continuing to do to do some about uh about it. Granted, this is more. This is like a, you know, this has to deal with ancient civilizations, and uh, but there are, there's a lot of interesting information out there. Obviously, you know, it's the it's sort of open for interpretation. All. You know, God and devil, good versus evil, but the that that continued, you know, that the the struggle and the inter, you know, interconnectivity of them is, you know, I believe I believe that to be true. There and you know, there's good and bad uh, in people, what? and I think that come, you know, yeah. is that the devil or is there actually a devil? You know, uh, well, what we what we feel, what I feel, uh, you know, is that is that Satan gets a bad rap. He's misunderstood. And he's really just a free-thinking rebel, and I identify with that. So that's my simple perspective on that. But, man, I, I know you got to run, and, and, and we do also, Jared, but let's talk further about the devil 
soon if we can, please. Uh, I, I would love to go down that path with you. Yeah, I, I, I love it, man. So would I. I think we'd have a great, uh, a great, t very interesting philosophical yeah. discussion about that. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of things, and I'll probably get some flack from people uh, because I also, you know, there's good, you know, there, there's, there's God and faith, the universe, there's good energy, you know, and, and I believe in that as much as I, you know, believe in the bad energy and, and, you know, and it's, it's, that's life, you know, there's, uh, but we can talk about that, uh, you know, get into that, uh, another time, but Down yeah. The road. Hey, and just a, just a heads up. If you are ever flying out West and you have a layover in Dallas, reach out to me, I'll meet you at the airport and we'll have some coffee. Done. Yeah, <laughs> done, man. Done. I'm, I'm, I haven't been, I've never been to Dallas and I, uh, I got a buddy from there and he loves it. Uh, yeah. so I'm, I, I would love to go. Appreciate you, Jared. Jared Cohn, man. And it's uh Halloween pussy trap kill kill mm -hmm. coming out this mm -hmm. month. You've got to see this movie. It looks so great. And we didn't even talk much about the details of it, but the rock and roll band in the van, they're really trying to make it. And then they face some challenges and you got to see the bit. movie, right? Oh yeah. They get, they definitely face some challenges. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't end well. I'm not going to want to give it away, but okay. for, Don't give it away. May, maybe okay. for some, maybe. Yeah. But, but well. I mean, just don't, for, don't forget there's three teeth on the soundtrack and, and, uh, and there's uh, jerky 69 in the soundtrack and, and, and so many others. So, Thank you, Jared. Man, let's stay in touch. Thank I, you. I, we really want you to be a friend of the show. Thank you guys so much for having me on. You're very welcome. Appreciate, appreciate what you're doing. Thank you, Jared. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye now. Thank you. Bye. Wow, fantastic. Now, you had some friends. We have some friends who. I have some friends. <laughs> I have friends. They're, since now, when? They're gonna, we're going to. Are we going to talk to them about? Uh -huh. We're going to talk to him about the movie they just saw, the other Halloween premiere that I'm really liking the idea mm -hmm. of. Of course, it's called American Satan. <sighs> what a great name. <laughs> or, we yes. could, or just call it Satan, but that's fine. All uh, right. So Satan's they, too vague. They went, they Had went to be American. So, are we going to call uh, Mike and Rain and uh, after a quick break? Quick break. All right. So on the quick break, can we show what? What should we show, Ziggy? I was thinking the trailer for American Pussy Trap, American Pussy Trap, or whatever you've got queued up.
Welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something. Oh, no. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, welcome uh, back to the Corpse Paint Show. We will have Rain and Mike on from the Vampire Court of Dallas shortly to talk about what they think of American Satan. They went and saw it today. So we'll be anxiously awaiting their review. I'm very excited about this show because of the vibrators being here and then talking to Jared Cohn. Yeah. And now we'll be talking about American Satan from some people who just stepped out of the yeah. theater. Hello. Hey. 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 Welcome. Hey, sorry. We're out here with the poop. So if you hear howling or angry <laughs> barking, that's because of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like I like werewolves. Yeah. We like howling. <laughs> <laughs> We're out here with our wolf. She gets angry and yells at us. Mm -hmm. All right, Janie Slash, go for it. So uh I heard you guys went and saw a movie today. Can you tell us about it? Like, we, you think? we just went and saw American Satan. At 4 p.m. showing at AMC Arlington, which was a, a great experience. They had a nice had a nice bar downstairs ready to go for us. It's like they knew we were coming. Oh, man. <laughs> they were ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, so it was great. So everyone should go watch it. I was yeah. thoroughly impressed with how they tied all the stories together. Yes. And, of course, the soundtrack, I think everybody's seen the, the previews of the soundtrack as they release them on YouTube. And I, I think uh, uh, they tied in the, uh, the music with the narrative very, very well, um, and, as well as, of course, the, the whole kind of uh, meaning behind those songs tying into to what's, what's kind of playing out on screen. So, no, I, I think it was a very good collaboration between the, the musicians and, of course, the, the screenwriters and the, the producing team as well. And Malcolm McDowell makes a very scary Satan. He does. He does. It was it was a much different type of type of Satan that I think we're used to seeing on screen playing out. Uh, it wasn't uh, super serious. There was a, a kind of almost a, a primal aspect, which I think speaks to um, the story and, and how it appeals to kind of the the ego and subconscious that that's kind of playing out in these desires. That, that the music speaks to. Very good. Now, so without giving too much away, it's a Faustian bargain. That's this, that this band, this is kind of what the trailer tells me, right? A Faustian bargain yes. they, they make? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. It, it, it's very, um, it's revealed pretty, pretty quickly to the audience. Uh, um, Marlowe's original narrative, of course, somebody, uh, bargaining away their their eternal soul for for hidden knowledge and hidden meaning, and of course their their baser instincts uh, and desires being fulfilled. Um, and I think that's that's really any rock star's life, more or less, is is having all of those desires fulfilled through through their music and through success and through uh, money and all the wonderful things that that can bring. Uh, but of course. Uh, one can lose their soul in those things, as, as of course Marlowe writes, um, because those desires always come with uh, a price of whatever morality or whatever um, society expects you to have. Um, but but of course that that's kind of the narrative on the surface. And what really intrigued me was what the how symbols play out uh, in all of this. Symbols. Yes, um, symbol, symbols in and themselves. I mean, people always uh, are, as, as most existentialist philosophers try to demand, is that we all want to derive meaning from our individual lives and individual existence. And symbols play into that because they represent those meanings that we assign to, to different things. So uh, take example, of course, uh, our, our uh, great uncle Satan, of course, um, symbolizes um, the desires of the, of the ego and the, the, the primal desires that we all want, of course, of, of sex and, and money and, and food and pleasure, um, while the part you have symbols derived from religion that uh, play against that. Gotcha. Is there a lot of symbol? Are there a lot of symbols in the movie sprinkled throughout? I would say it takes kind of our basic behavior. Like anybody that's ever 
to run a band, you want to make a bit, but you're faced with a lot of challenges. So it kind of breaks down our humanistic behavior to what will we do to get what we want? Mm -hmm. And sometimes you don't think about it and you maybe you're put in like a terrible situation where you really have no choice. Mm -hmm. And it kind of toys with the idea of, do you really have free will sometimes in situations? Yeah. And I think duality plays heavily into it as well. Uh, um, we have, of course, our, our ego, our, our animalistic desires, um, and what we're willing to fulfill them. But we also have that part of us that's holding it back. And I mean, people are wanting to assign uh, religious symbolism to that. But I, I think really uh, our collective humanity um, kind of punishes us for reverting to that kind of animalistic state, whatever that may be. We're forced to comply with society's norms and rules uh, most of the time. But but it would seem like a rock band, you know, breaks a lot of those rules. But then you're saying they, yes. they still are expected to do certain things. Correct. And, and I think it's um, part of the whole kind of Faustian bargain is, is of course, you're, you're able to receive all those things that your ego desires um, and a lot of the safeguards that society has in place kind of pulls you away. But I, I think society also has the opposite effect because part of it is the commodification of music as well, of you're expected to behave this way because it, it sells, sex sells, music sells, rock music sells. Gotcha, yeah. Um, and it plays into that greater economy uh, that we have. Basically, love and rock and roll is the expectation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. Well, I mean, I mean, I like what you're describing about the movie, and so I oh, like it. <laughs> uh, overall, you're saying this is great, and you would say go see it. I would say go see it. I thoroughly yeah. enjoyed it. I, I, I think it's uh, you could probably write a term paper over the the extent of which uh, symbols and the duality of man kind of come into play. Yeah. Um, so I. I the, the writing team typically deserves all of the props um, because of not only the narrative that's on the surface with the Faustian bargain, but all of the uh, subconscious calls out to uh, symbols and how they play into uh, uh, our conscious and society as a whole. Yeah, it, is there – go ahead, Janie. Okay, I, I was just going to ask, is there an element of be careful what you wish for? <laughs> Yes. yes. Yes, there really is. So, so, and so, what it what it's about is a um, a struggling rock band. They're in a van. Uh, they're trying to make it big, and someone makes them an offer they can't refuse. So, sort of. Mm-hmm. Do I have Do I have it yes. right? Okay. Would you say, way, would you that's say why it's... they were pretty good? <laughs> yeah. And that's what really I'm I'm trying to keep from doing is ripping of course. Yeah, too much. don't make them test it uh, too much. You're right. Okay. Would you, is it a horror movie or is it more of a drama? Uh, I drama. think I would, it was, I would say drama. drama. But there, there is quite a bit of a comedy that plays into it. And, and I think um, the, the chemistry behind the, not only the musicians, but the cast as a whole played into it as well. Um, but you, you can tell that you had fun making this movie. And there was, there was a lot of passion behind it. No kidding, that's good. The The director is Ash Avildsen, and this is mm-hmm. his, I think, only his second full-length movie release. I hope mm-hmm. that it does well for him, and, and uh, you're saying it's a great movie, and, you know, therefore, hopefully, we'd see some more from him. And, uh, like, American mm-hmm. Satan 2. American Satan, more Satan. The deal is Well, he went to the Ah, you're giving away. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-huh. We'll see what happens. Gotcha. Okay. Be taken in. It's a test. He's trying to get you to reveal more stuff. No, 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 no. I want to try. And get, <laughs> thank you for not revealing any too much. I want to try and get Ash. Yeah, yeah. Yes. No. I, I I highly recommend you guys go see it when you when you get a free time uh, yeah. or some free time away from the chair. Um, so, other responsibilities, of course, being evil and destruction and discord. Mm-hmm. I I think, <laughs> yeah. That we really appreciate your your perspective and your your overview on this. I, I think that there's a lot of people 
in this country who are going to freak out over this movie because yeah. of the title mm-hmm. and the and the anything and the, with the word Satan in it scares people away. Yeah. And the, and the well, clear. You're going to have to go see it because they play on that. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think uh, uh, the perception of rock and roll music, it takes a very big uh, part of the overall narrative. And I think they'll, you'll instantly nod your head as soon as you see the parts that, uh, uh, that I'm kind of hinting at. But remember that, that I think our dear friend Kenneth Burke, he always, uh, uh, he not only said of uh, symbol's ability to speak to what's going on internal in our, in our minds, but also that individuals assign two symbols. Uh, so not only do you have the, the baggage that society assigns to these symbols, but also your own individual meanings as well. Sure. And sometimes, uh, I, I believe it was a really similar in the 1800s. He said uh, that not only are is capable of greatly assigning assigning new symbols, but misinterpreting those at the same time. Gotcha. Yes. For example, we yeah, we can think of many offhand, but they clearly <laughs> they clearly use the the um, pentagram in their market. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, the satanic correct. flag. Yeah. Heck yeah. Is in there. I mean, you, you can't think of a better simple. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's right. Um, and that was a good question, Janie Slash, because, you know, is it a horror movie or a drama? And Mike is well, saying. It's, it's Mike, a little misleading by the title. You don't, you don't really know. You don't know. You don't know. And, uh, are, uh, but no. I, I imagine there's some horror elements. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, I, again, the, it's, it's not like true horror, like we think of like, like Michael Myers or something like that. Yeah. It's a psychological horror. All right, gotcha. And, and the, the writing staff asked to do a uh because they were in the strap of something genre in, in one year. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Awesome. So, um, can't wait the, to see it. but okay, here's the thing. It's called American Satan, but the Satan has a British accent, and that's Malcolm. He may not have a British accent in the movie. Oh, okay. I don't right. know. Right. Does he have a no, British accent? Not have a British accent at all. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. But I did have a orange again. <laughs> did have what? Yeah, you can tell it pulled heavily from from that uh from Clockwork Orange uh, story and and that acting experience they had from that movie awesome neat well yeah. malcolm mcdowell didn't have a british accent in halloween like the remake oh that's right mm-hmm. yeah. he's an actor yeah. he's an actor <laughs> Brit- <laughs> british yeah. slash Mar- i think the next one should be called british satan all right all right i'm sorry i'm being silly <laughs> several different actors mockery so yes you'll see it yeah man see? it sounds it sounds good <laughs> I just like seeing I, I like seeing uh, movies about bands that are struggling in a van and mm-hmm. they're traveling he keeps talking the about this van like, he's like everything is in a van and okay. action <laughs> happens in vans it does think about it there's a thread of vans accidents there are all kinds of, happen in vans no 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 no, 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 no. well okay you're right like a baby popping out nine months later? No, that's horrifying. Oh, okay. No, um, like in Freddy versus Jason, when Jason was in the van and then Jason woke up. That's right. There's a lot of there's a lot or of or like you know the vans where they like tumble. You know, you've seen all those movies where they like get in the accident and they tumble like they down tumble. the hill. Yeah, and then the yeah, there's... like you know, that officer. Or you pick up, or you pick up like a, you know, a hitchhiker in. Yeah, oh, yeah there you um, go. Uh, well, thank Texas you. Chainsaw Massacre thank you. Thank you. was in a van. <laughs> so, I like I like horror movies with a van. Yes, it's just like you never know. Is you, it good you know, or bad? You know why there's vans in horror movies? Because everybody's always smoking weed in the van. Oh, okay, gotcha. It's like symbolic or something. I'm sure. <laughs> always a van, so never trust a van. Always a van. I won't get in a van. You're like, oh, I have a van. I'm staying away from your van. No, thank you. Well, what for so, you candy? Yeah. So it depends. It depends <laughs> on what kind of candy. Or a puppy. I don't want a puppy. Right. I have two. I can't do any more puppies. Hey, Mike and Rain. I might take it. Might. <laughs> yeah. That might be All different. Right. Like, uh, Jenny Slash, we sign off with Mike and Rain. Actually, uh, I'm getting the I'm getting the the flag from our engineer. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah. I'll, uh, thank you guys for calling in, letting us know what you thought of the movie. It was a great review. I appreciate oh. it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thanks for having us. We love you guys. We love you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Bye now. You know, actually, we did get our last rats out of a van. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, I'm trying to remember. We did. We bought them from a lady oh, that drove a cargo right. van. She had the big family, and they had lots of kids and rats in the van. Yes, You're they right. did. They had boxes of rats. <laughs> All right. So can we see your rat? You want to see my rat? I there's there's a couple yeah, of rats in front of you here, yeah. but we've only got a minute. So, um, yeah, let's see. We, these yeah, are my we, rats. These are, but, okay. Do you have any more rats? No, that's it. That's it. All right. That's all my okay. rats. Two movies. We talked about American Satan, and that one's out now. And then the one that is forthcoming here in a week or so is a, a Halloween Pussy Trap Kill Kill. Thank you, Jared Cohen, our, the director, for joining us. Thank you, Mike and Rain, for their review of Satan. Mm -hmm. AKA that was a really good review. American. It was way better than what I would have done. I'd be like, yeah, it was, it was good. <laughs> I didn't see it, so I don't know. But yeah. I, I'm going to take their word for it. Mike said it's a philosophical movie. Huh. Well, yeah. you know, one of my favorite movies is Faust. Yeah. From the 1920s 20s. or early 30s. Directed by the Marno. W. Marno, who right. did yeah. Nosferatu. Which Texas Theater is having a screening. You're taking me to, right? Woo, baby. Look, Texas Theater is also doing, you know, cool things. But I Nosferatu think has a symphony. All right, we got to run. Okay, and yeah, yeah. Um, hey, Ziggy, thank you very much for helping us thank on the boards. Uh, our great engineer over there. And you can see him at the Backdoor Comedy Club Thursdays and Saturdays. You can see me Saturday at Wits End with Deadly Sons of Burlesque. $8. We have a lot more fun coming up next week on this show, too. Please check us out on YouTube, please, and our Facebook page. Thank you. Thank you, Janie have Slash. A good week. Yeah, man. Bye. Yeah. Sunday, we're here live. We're gonna give you 90 minutes of live, great, irreverent shit. <laughs> and also, just talk about Satan and talk about movies and talk about metal and talk about Jenny Slash's uh, weekly dose of horror. Yeah, Texas Fright Night Weekend. I am here with D. Wallace. Don't just don't serve my food all the time. Sure, I do get comments from occasionally religious fanatics. I have seen people yeah. stopping that one. Wag their finger at me for a ring type. The Gold's Paint Show Rules!